so it's tomorrow and we're still pushing alarm temperature wonder if either of the racks are having any problem let's go up there and check the racks here's a good view of that walk-in cooler it goes all the way so you see all the way down there where the end of those that duck goes that's how big the cooler is all the way down there and then like all the way down there I don't know I haven't measured it but it's big here we are another level up for my feet you see over there that's a 10 foot ladder or it's maybe an 8 foot I don't know but this is a big walk-in cooler now we all should know how to open a roof hatch but in case you don't know the roof when you pop it open by turning that and you push it up a little bit it should pretty much go up very easily you shouldn't have to fight the weight of the door or whatever the hatch because those little little uh, whatever you call them shock absorber looking things those like push it you know it's like springs not only that when the door gets up there that handle right there it should automatically grab to where it locks like this it should automatically do that so make sure all that works on your roof hatches now I'm gonna close this one because it and when you go to close it all you gotta do when you're standing on the ladder is you take one arm and you pull it and you should be able to pull it with one arm down anyways they got a uh, got alarms yeah big old freaking loud ass alarm is gonna big loud alarm that's gonna go off if I don't close it now up here at rack A Suction pressure is pretty high. I wish it wasn't that high. If we look at the log, man, that suction pressure has been high for a good little while at least. That's why it's warm in there. 10 a.m. At 10.36, it got down to 47 PSI for a little bit. Let me take a second here and explain what we're looking at. So we're looking at suction pressure, okay? So if we look at the suction pressure, uh, the suction pressure it controls the temperature directly because if we're running a, 60, a 63 PSI suction pressure, that means we have a coil temperature of 35 degrees. There's no way with a coil temperature of 35 degrees that we're gonna be able to get the discharging air that is suitable. In order to get a 35 degree space we need to have like a 15 or 17 degree suction pressure so you can see that's going to be right here around 41 41 is the suction pressure that we are trying to get to that's the set point that's when it satisfies and we're not getting anywhere near that if we had a 41 psi suction pressure the coil temperature would be 18 degrees and therefore our air temp coming out of the coils would be cold enough to maintain that space below 40. It did a lot better in the wee hours of the morning. Kinda. There was mostly 50s and 40s. Levels are all right. So here, our second stage just came on. And it's pulling the suction pressure down.
This one's looking much better. Sort of. Yeah, look, yeah, it's looking much better. 30s and 40s and some 50s. This charge is a little high because we got one bad condenser fan motor. That's why the thing's running at 100% because it can't pull that, that pressure back down. Just from that video the other day. Let's see, just for for fun, let's see what the um, see what the discharge pressure is on this one. Okay, I was right the first time. It's a 10-foot ladder. Yeah. So if I have to guess, these are four feet panels each. That's just a guess. I'm gonna count them. All right, so there's 34 panels, four-foot panels all the way down here, and one right there, a one-foot panel. So that's, that's 137 feet. Now these ones, are 20, yeah, they're 20 foot panels. So there's two of them, and then like, like three quarters of a one over here. So let's say 20, 40, 55. Really speaking, that's, that's 7,500 square feet of, of walking cooler. Not only that, but it's about 13 feet tall, maybe, maybe 12, 12 feet tall. So, 7,500 square feet times 12 feet tall gives you your, your volume of, uh, of air conditioned or refrigerated space. Things got issues, man. Yeah. Yeah. Issues. It's all wet over here, you see, because of these issues. And I'm still not doing the best over here. I got some, uh, some temperatures that are pretty high. I don't know why they're not alarming. They were a little bit ago. I guess somebody's, oh, there we go, there's one. I guess somebody silenced the alarm. I'll tell you about some weird stuff that happened, man. I had high pressure here. High pressure, it was running hot. Remember, I think I showed you yesterday's video. So I get the water, I start washing it, and as the pressure goes down, the VFD speed increases. Now it's at 100%. Is that right? Should it do that? I guess so. Anyways, interesting, just thought I'd show you. So you're supposed to be able to just grab it and Pull it down with one hand. 
alarm sensor. Ooh, that's a long ways down there. There's that walk-in cooler. Big cooler. This is the first time all day that my cases have been mostly in the 30s and only one of them staying 40. This happened just now because I put water on that condenser and I got the head pressure down. See, it was just at 40 10 minutes ago. Now not only did it go down to 39, it went down to 38. Okay, 39, whatever. All of them are gonna look like that. And I just got the rack A condenser wet. That's what I did. And if rack A works good, rack B's, hold up. Yeah, if rack A works good, rack B's gonna be right behind it. So since we got rack A working, I think it's helping out rack B. It's good. And this is the first time today that it hasn't been alarming like crazy. Hey you guys, thanks for watching my video all the way to the end like this. I appreciate it. It really helps. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel and give me a like on the video because that really helps too. So thanks again for all the support. I'll see y'all later.